Hello. High pressure dominates the UK's weather this weekend, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be dry or settled because in many places it will be wet and windy. That's because high pressure is sitting to the south and on the northern flank of that high, we've got these tightly packed isobars. That means strong winds. The winds are coming from the west. They'll bring extensive cloud and they'll bring outbreaks of rain, particularly for northwest Scotland. Those winds will also bring mild air and we'll notice that especially by night with the early temperatures on Saturday in the double figures across Scotland, Northern Ireland, parts of Western England and Wales. Even in the south and the east will be frost free, although here it's five or six Celsius given some cloud breaks and lighter winds overnight. But of course, that's where we'll see the best of the sunny spells. First thing Saturday, the Midlands, Southern England, Eastern England, perhaps seeing some cloud breaks through the day. Eastern Scotland could see the odd cloud break as well as the uh, air dries up over the higher ground to the west. But for many western parts of the UK, we'll see fairly thick cloud of the Wales, northern England, southern Scotland and northern Ireland. Some outbreaks of light rain and drizzle, especially over hills, there will be some hill fog as well. But it's for northern Scotland where the rain will be persistent throughout Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And it will be heavy at times, particularly for northwest Scotland accompanied by strong winds, gale force winds for northern and western Scotland, exposed coasts and hills especially. And the wind will be bouncing over the hills of northern England to bring some strong wind gusts just downwind of those hills. So for northeast England, we could see wind gusts approaching 50 miles an hour. Of course, with that wind, it's not going to feel very pleasant, even if temperatures are technically above average for the time of year. 12, 13, perhaps a touch more in some of the warmer spots across eastern Scotland and northeast England. Now into Saturday night, the rain will pep up for a time as this weather front just wriggles across northern Scotland and those rainfall totals are really going to mount up through the three days from Friday to Sunday. But eventually on Sunday, the front does start to sink south across the UK to relieve the wind and rain across Scotland, but bring wetter and windier conditions further south. We start off Sunday, though, where we left things on Saturday with wet and windy weather for Scotland. Eventually, after a mild start, the cloud, wind and rain sink south and it will turn much wetter for Northern England. For North Wales and West Wales, as well as Northern Ireland, the heaviest of the rain will be across the hills of North Wales and Northern England for a time. But it's, it does stay dry for South and South East England, albeit rather cloudy and breezy, certainly windier compared with Saturday. Temperatures still getting up into the double figures, but still not really feeling like it. Some clearance to the weather for northwest Scotland, though, finally, after three days of rain. Those rainfall totals, though, up to 125, perhaps even 175 millimetres for some of the most exposed hills of northwest Scotland. And so that could cause some issues. That's why there's a yellow rain warning in force. Into the start of next week, the weather stays fairly blustery. There'll be further spells of rain, particularly across the hills of Wales and Northern England. We'll keep you updated right here.